Okay, so here's the deal. There is this idea of burning the boats or burning the ships. And if you're unfamiliar with what it means, it's essentially giving yourself no plan B and whatever your goal or your dream may be, not giving yourself any other option but to achieve it. And this kind of originated from, I believe, Hernan Cortez, when he was conquering the Aztec Empire, got to the island and immediately burned the ships and basically sent a message to everybody and said, hey, we don't have any other plan. We can't leave the island now because we don't have any ships because they're burned. So we have no other choice but to conquer this island or we will die. And so people are trying to implement this into their lives and they're trying to kind of embody the idea of burning the boats or burning the ships and going all in on what they want. But people are really just lighting candles on these metaphorical boats and hoping that somehow they tip over and maybe they burn and the ships happen to burn down. The world we live in right now is very, very comfortable. It's very safe. And there's a very good chance that the life you're living right now is not very, there's not many risks you're taking. There's not many things that you're doing on a daily basis that actually scare you and actually force you to, you know, step up to the plate and perform. But truly the only way I can, I just can feel this in my heart, in my soul that the only way you can truly get to where you want to be like where you want to be is by giving yourself no other option but to get but to succeed you cannot like even the smallest little safety net or plan b that you might have in the back of your head that is something that is really stopping you and hindering you from making the amount of progress that you can actually make when you have the other these little safety nets as small as they may be and even if you don't really feel like you would ever go back to it it's like it's always there it's always lingering there and you always know that if, if it doesn't work out then you know you have that to, to fall back on and people are going to tell you people are going to tell me that what i'm going to be doing is, is stupid it's dumb it's ridiculous I completely understand that because the concept of burning the boats, burning the ships is pretty ridiculous in the first place. But if you need to make a radical change in your life, you need to take a radical approach to it. And there's this other idea I've been messing with in my head, and it's the idea of killing the boy. And if you're a young man, this is what has to happen at some point. And when I say kill the boy, all I mean is destroying the part of yourself that is dependent on other people because the boy inside of you is very innocent. They're they're getting provided for everything you have, everything you need is given to you. And if you want to step into the role of an, of a man in, in this world, there has to come a time where you take your life into your own hands and you, and you basically turn your back on any safety net, any sort of uh, protective guidelines that people might try to be giving you. And you say, no, I don't care how risky this is. I don't care how dumb people might think I am. I am taking my life in my own hands. I don't need safety nets. I will figure it out. I will become somebody who can live life on their own terms, no matter how ugly it may be, no matter how many mistakes that I make. Once you do that, and once I do this, I know for a, for a fact that I will become a completely different person. And people are scared of this. People are scared of jumping into things, into the unknown and you know not having this any backup plan or any sort of safety nets. But this is what is going to take you to the next level. And this might, be, this might look different for everybody. This might not look like jumping into a completely new environment with no plan, no, like barely, like barely any money, but you need to jump into to some sort of fire because it might feel like right now you are testing yourself in many different ways, but there's a very good chance that you're not because if you were truly testing yourself right now, that it wouldn't even be a question. Like you would, you would know that every single day you wake up, you have big problems to solve. You don't have time to think about how you look or how you appear to other people or whatever. You don't have time to nitpick things about yourself. You have to make stuff happen. There is no way around it. And you cannot rely on your parents or your fucking friends or anybody else except for you to solve your own problems. And even though I am 23 years old, I'm technically a, a grown male. I've only severely injured the boy. I've not killed him yet. And this is what I need. This is the final you know, stab in the heart of this, of this little boy. It sounds harsh, but like, this is the final thing that I need to actually get rid of that part of myself and fully step into the fully autonomous, sovereign male, sovereign man that I need to be. I think another reason for this, another reason why people are actually just very hesitant to act, to do the thing and burn the boats is because they haven't seen anybody actually go and do it and show them what it actually means to not give yourself a way out or give yourself a plan B. I have realized this lately and I've realized that I've thought that I've burned the boats. I've thought that I have already gone all in on what I want to do with my life. And I realized that I haven't. And so I'm taking all my stuff. I'm getting up and I'm leaving with pretty much like very little money, no plan, no job, no house. I am going to basically show you what it actually means to be burning the boats because I am not giving myself another, another way out. I'm going to have to literally become a survivor and literally like find a way to get a house, find a way to make money, find a way to just survive and actually make connections with people while documenting it 
on YouTube and showing that pe showing people what it actually looks like to burn the boats for real. Like people don't show this. People talk about it all the time, but they don't actually do it. People are burning maybe one or two ships, but they're still leaving a lot left. I'm going to be burning every single one. And so I know there is a venture, a, a goal, a dream that you have that you just, you want to go all in on, but you just feel a little bit hesitant. You're still, you're still kind of clinging on to the safety that you have, but you have to understand that in order to make the progress that you need, that you know you can make, every single thing that is not directly aligned with you achieving that goal has to go at some point. And that is exactly why I'm doing it myself because for, first of all, I need to do it. I need to kill the boy. I need to completely burn the ships and burn the boats. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm inspiring and, and showing people that it is possible. And what it, more importantly, what it actually looks like to do this because I'm really just making this video to prepare you to just put you in the mindset of, okay, right? I, I You know what you have to do. You know what it is that you want. But there are things that you've been clinging on to. There are safety nets, there are guidelines, guide guardrails, I guess you would call them, that are keeping you from fully jumping in and diving in and fully committing. And I I, I want you to make sure that whatever this fire you're going to be jumping into, whatever island you're you're conquering, you truly give yourself no way out. You truly make it a your only mission to to conquer that island, to conquer that goal or you will die trying. Cause that's, that is truly what it takes. There's no halfway in, halfway out. It's either all or nothing. Like I hate to break it to you, but you have to get to a point where you are so, so dead set on achieving this that you are willing to completely put everything at risk. Now, I'm telling you, this has been the missing piece of the puzzle for me. And I feel like, again, I'm somebody who has a pretty good head on their shoulders, but I have been clinging on to things that I need to let go of and I'm sure you were in the same position. And if you knew that, but you didn't want to hear it from yourself, you didn't want to admit it to yourself, then here I am, I'm telling you right now, it's time to go. And again, I am never going to tell you to do something that I am unwilling to do. I am going, I'm just telling you this, I am giving you this message because I am doing it myself. And if you needed to sign, it is time to burn these ships, to burn these boats and actually go all in for real. No more faking it, no more, halfway in halfway out no more just dipping your toes in no we need to be diving in and we're i'm gonna we're gonna be doing it together i'm gonna be going along with you i'm gonna be showing you exactly what i'm doing how i'm making money how i'm finding places to sleep how i'm eating because i'm really not gonna have that much and i'm gonna be forced to figure it out and as ugly as it may look as hard as it may be i know that i'm, I'm going to become a completely different person a completely leveled up version of myself that i've probably never been before and i am ready for that change and I hope you are too. So, and hopefully I'll see you guys whenever I'm actually doing this. And maybe probably when I'm in my car with all my things and driving off and I'll see you then. So peace.